Then everyone, how's it going? Uh, this video today is coming from VidCon and the women's panel about women and harassment on the internet, some bullshit like that. And basically, it's Anita Sarkeesian making an absolute fucking twat of herself as fucking usual by shouting at uh, Sargon of Akada, who is um, in the audience at, at this particular moment. I think he was on the front row, and the first three rows are basically full of fucking shitlords. And I'm going to try not to repeat any points that anyone else has made. I've tried to. I've had a look around over videos that other people have made about the situation. And, yeah, I'm going to try not to repeat any air points because that'll be fucking pointless. But I thought, fuck it, I might as well add my come to the bukkake. And let's get on with shit. And so, I think it's it's a conversation that needs to keep happening, right? If you Google my name on YouTube, you get shitheads like this dude who are making these dumbass videos that just say the same shit over and over again. And this is coming for the same fucking retard that went into video game journalism. Even though, by her own admission, she knows absolutely fuck all about video games. I mean, fucking hell, the reason why his videos or fucking Andy Warski's or anyone else's fucking videos comes up when you Google your name is because their videos are actually fucking popular, love. And fuck's sake, love. At least they're fucking talking sense to people, you know, they're, they're, not, absolute, they're not talking absolute fucking shite. And, like I said, you know, all their videos are fucking well researched, unlike yours. You're just fucking making everything up on bastard spot. You know, they're not trying to fucking bullshit people into an ideology which is fucking toxic. You know, you, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. You're calling him a shithead. You're a fucking lucky mirror love. That's the shithead. I'm like, I need to give you attention because you're a garbage human. Oh, roasted. I mean, fuck's sake, Anita. Surely you could come up with a better fucking insult than that. But fuck hell, my four year old days could come up with better insults than that shit. Fucking get it together, love. And I'd like to point out this point as well. This is a fucking panel about harassment. And she's fucking harassing Sargon of Akkadic fucking crowd who said absolutely fuck all to her. And she's fucking attacking this man. You know, you're going to hurt his feelings for fuck's sake. I mean, he's fucking irony, not a word in the feminist dictionary. For fuck's sake. Whatever, dude. And this is why fucking feminism hasn't really grown in the last fucking 10, 15 years or so. You know, it's just this fucking lack of acceptance of fucking criticism, you know, this is why people see feminists now as just fat man-hating cunts. The same sort of people who cry out, <laughs> misogyny, of <laughs> racist, at every fucking hint of criticism, you know, fucking grow up. A little bit of self-reflection will do you absolutely no harm, it'll do fucking tons of good for you, fucking trust me. Um, but it's, you know, like the fact that these dudes are making endless videos that just go after every feminist over and over and over again, I think is, is a part of the issue of why we have to have these conversations. We don't just get to be online, we don't just get to participate like everyone else. Well, the fact that you get to make videos online just fuck, sort of fucking disproves your own fucking point though, doesn't it, love? I mean... Just because you get criticism every now and again doesn't mean you're constantly being a fucking attacked. You know, you do get a lot of good comments in your videos as well. I've seen your fucking comments when you're fucking activated, obviously. And, you know, you do get some good comments sneaking through for you. I mean, good for you, but the reason... But you can't conflate criticism with fucking harassment, you fucking spastic. You're putting ideas, your ideas, online and people are critiquing you. That's just part of life, love. You know, the reason why they go after feminists and... Um, but Islam apologies and shit like that because they come up with bad ideas will think they're bad ideas and all bad ideas have the right to be fucking critiqued it's about it's part of living a fucking democracy you fucking dick and if you are watching this in ETA or by in some weird one in a million shot you know just fucking here's my advice to you fucking grow up you're not special and now I've just got to add a quick uh, little scene lit of uh, Sargon, the man, the myth, the legend himself, just reacting to the situation in, on the scene. What happened when Anita called security? Because that's just so fucking satisfying. Oh, um, they, um, as far, I've heard this third hand, so I, I, I would need to confirm it, but um, apparently um, they, they essentially said, uh, it was uh, Naomi who spoke to them, and she said that uh, they had said that you know, oh, they're worried about something going on. And then she just said to the head of security, well, she's a public figure, she's attacking the audience, and she should be able to endure that, you know, she should be able to take it. And they were like, you know, that's a good point. And that's why they didn't check us out, they didn't do anything to us, and Anita is now the one abusing the audience. Spoken like a true professional. You know, I think everything he says in this as well, he's, he does completely stand as well, because you can't be a public figure and be free from critique. That's not how life works. And it's fucking ridiculous, like, 
even if it is true that she calls security on him because what the fuck are you doing? They're not fucking shouting anything, they're not being disruptive, not they're not throwing shit at them, you know, it's they're just fucking sitting there listening like well pff, respectful human beings, I dare say. You know, so it's it's fucking ridiculous, you know. She she is the humunculus in this situation, she is the bad guy. I'm not I'm not afraid to point it out, you know. And Sargon, keep up the work, good work, buddy. You know, it's it's fucking pissing her off, and it's fucking hilarious. And Anita, you're a piece of shit. So anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble on and all about fucking nothing. And remember to like the video, share it, like upvote it, whatever the fuck you do with videos. You'll know, possibly send it in a time machine back to 1786, so some poor farm boy can enjoy the video as well. And yeah, see ya.